Okay, big overall update for everyone who watches this channel. Let me start with the Misties and the Rift Tracks fans. All of you alike, you know, you're probably the same people. You know, if you like Mystery Science Theater, I guarantee you like Rift Tracks. I haven't made an edit in a while just because I was a little bit disappointed uh, with uh, number 21 on my list, uh, the Mystery Science Theater Funniest Episodes playlist. I did uh, an edit of one the uh, the thing they couldn't die and it got blocked and uh, by a copyright uh, problem with NBC and I tried to fight it but um there's no way I could post it I you know I spend a lot of time on these too like I spent a few hours on that one and just and the other ones pretty much just all all the same kind of similar the big edits that you see the ones that you know uh, the compilations of all the different episodes those literally take me a lot longer if not like two to three times longer than the regular edits or more actually you know the uh, riff tracks edit took me about 12 straight hours I was on I was literally on one when I was doing that it was on my birthday even and I spent 12 straight hours per, you know like only with like about a half hour break total in between the time uh, to make that I get really into it, you know, like when it comes to the editing, I don't have like a, 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 I don't have the best software as far as being able to make better use of my time to make it quicker, but I'm used to my software and I uh, could really, really, really get into the whole putting the puzzle, uh, putting it all together just right and puzzling it together to make it good quality as far as the content goes. and. Um, how it flows and everything I think some of you guys know and appreciate that so uh, yeah the episode the thing that couldn't die um, a hard episode to find as far as the full um, movie I had the full movie on a saved file you know it's in my uh, on one of my hard disk or hard drives I mean and I, I did an edit of it it was only 25 minutes and it got blocked so uh, I was pretty disappointed, so I'll get around to making another edit, uh, a different number 21, with something. Uh, just hope it don't run into the same problem. That would be that would suck twice in a row. It sucks to do all that and then have it not go up and everything. So, anyways, there's that. Um, I might do a riff tracks edit next, so I'll go with that probably. Anyways, so for everybody else out there, um, the exercise update. I haven't done that in a while. We're doing really good there. I'm actually like, if you see me right now, I well, you can't really see much of me or whatever. But I'm only weighing 122 pounds right now. Um, actually, only 5'8". If you guys didn't know that, I'm not that tall. I'm not incredibly short. I'm not a midget or anything, but 5'8". So I, I put on, you know, I have a very small waist, a very lean naturally. I'm very, you know, this is uh, about my ideal weight or so with uh, with a little bit of muscle on my upper body. I could get down, like when I did the 20 day fast, I could get down to about, I think I was down to, uh, I can't remember, I was under 115, that's for sure, it was probably about 112, 113 or so, maybe even less, I think I was getting close to 110 or so, but I was, you know, fine at that point, so I definitely could be lower at the, man, one, so 122, you know, that's nothing, right? Now. that's no big deal at all right now, I feel great, I did a, a great workout this morning. I'm trying to reset my clock schedule back to where I'm waking up in the mornings. It's all It's been all messed up right now as far as when I'm waking up and when I'm getting sleep and it's been really hot. So trying to sleep in the daytime with the air conditioner uh, going, it's not the most comfortable sleep. I'll wake up with like a real dry eye and uh, need to rem I'll have to remedy that with the, the way that you know that I do. And so, yeah, I worked out I worked out last evening. I went for a short run, did some sun gazing, and then basically worked out off and on with weights, uh, upper body, chest, and back, and and, and uh, I did a huge workout the night before that. But like literally all night until the late morning, until the early morning, and then went out for a run, a run, ran a couple miles, did some more sun gazing. I was. Uh, uh, hanging out with the the animals, there's uh, ducks and geese out there, and helping them cross the road uh, during the times when they cross the road and eat and everything. Um, so that's why I stopped at my run. But then I ended up running again and did did about four miles or so, and then the same thing happened. Uh, I stopped running to help a few ducks cross the street or whatever, and then walked back home. 
So I've been at it for um, within the last uh, 12 hours. That was just within uh, less than 12 hours I did all that. And last and the night before, did a huge workout. Um, I have a great story of a run that I did uh, about two weeks ago. I know I keep saying that I'll tell the story. I don't think it, this is a good time to tell the story just because it would make the video too much longer and this is just going to be a quick update. I uh, definitely want to get around to talking about more of the longevity factors and especially when it comes to uh, urine therapy and trying to um, maybe uh, demystify some of that for the people that don't know much about it and how it works. And um, I think there was a couple things that I forgot in the last one. The, the last video was just kind of uh, an out of nowhere. Uh, wasn't you know there was a lot of you know there was a lot of talk but i definitely left a lot of things out i think uh one of the uh, things that i left out that i can remember at the moment was uh like some of you guys know i do uh basically tap water abstinence i believe that if you uh you know in everyday life and society we, we use tap water for our dishes we wash our hands with it we shower with it and you know, when we we're younger, we used to, you know, spray, you know, play with hoses or go in pools and chlorinated pools. You know, that's just even worse, I think. And and jacuzzis where people's disgusting, you know, a, a crap comes off of them, and then we go soak up in it. Um, I just basically have got away from all that. It's been about three years. I actually saw a very very stupid video on YouTube. Um, look up a video about not showering for a year and what happens if you don't shower for a year. It's completely made up bullshit, you know, it, um, very speculative and it doesn't make any sense because I have all the experience and it didn't make any sense to me. It was very stupid, very misinformative. It makes people want to go like jump in the shower after watching it pretty much and uh, I didn't really browse through the comments but I saw a couple and that's basically people we're getting grossed out basically after watching it. It's a very stupid video, but it's from a channel that has like 12 million subscribers. The video's already got like a million or two million uh, views just from last month. And that's ridiculous because I've, I've had over three years of, of experience not showering. I haven't gone in the shower or the bath and I don't even rinse off, you know. It's, I mean, I've done that before in the past here and there and you know, sometimes you need to rinse the pits or the groin area off or whatever but or let's just say if I happen to accidentally fall and roll in the dirt or something then I might want to rinse that off but I, I would use distilled water and what I use now as far as just uh, when I do anything to my skin I get the aged urine and rub it all over my skin I did that just a little bit earlier it's why my skin looks good it's why my skin looks good for the first time in my life you know I'm uh, 38 and when, when I was in my 20s, my skin never looked very good at all. I couldn't get a proper tan. I would get one of those beet red tans. I couldn't stay in the sun like for too long. I wasn't like incredibly sensitive, but my tan never turned out right. My skin didn't always look right. When I was uh, in the winter, when I had my winter white skin going on, you know, like us uh, white folks have, um, we get a lot more pale in the winter and I get I got really pale it didn't look good you know it wasn't a good look you know as far as how my legs are kind of like a, a pasty look you know, you've seen that before with certain people or whatever but I have even when I'm white now in the winter it doesn't look bad at all you know my winter white is no longer pasty it's a nice white um, it looks healthy you know and so I experienced something completely different most of my adult life until I stopped showering and until I started using aged urine to replenish and nourish my skin and the combination of those things is excellent and I think is a big huge step and a key for longevity is if you want to um, do something good for yourself I think it's one of the top things of course the best things are always free you know so we don't need to uh, you know and that's a could be a hang-up for some people having you know as far as their freedom is concerned having to um, rely on and, and depend on and need to be you know uh, some, pe some people can't go out for expeditions for a matter of days because they'll need to you know take a shower here and there so they would have to either find a stream or a lake or something or go over to someone's house 
or go back home and you know use their shower or stay at a hotel to, and it's a it's a huge inconvenience until you get past the point and for me you could watch one of my last videos I'm not gonna explain too much it took a few months for the body to readjust and get used to that to get used to the the practice and the not having to shower and also clear out all the crap that was there before it's uh, it takes a few months I think uh, it could be done quicker I think what you could do easier is just uh, you know while you're not showering just rent if you need to rinse off you know the stink and the smell just use some distilled water and I think you'd be fine I think anyone could do this and they could do it a lot easier and better than I did it I did it to a point that uh, wasn't fun the, la the first few months were not fun at all I you know obviously smelled but after a few months the, literally the odor the body odor went away it was weird it was so amazing and I could you know it's like why do why would I go back to the old way you know I don't get that um, you know, especially for us guys in the groin area after just a, a couple of days of not showering or even uh, one day or day and a half you get that kind of sticky gross feeling or whatever and and you feel like, oh man, I need to shower, and you start sh chafing and everything. That's never happened. It's been over three years, you know, three years and a few months now, and I haven't had any problem. You know, that chafing, it never happens. I go out and exercise, you know, run and everything. Usually, you know, back when, you know, from what most people experience, they need to shower after the exercise. I actually feel cleaner after exercising, if you can believe that. That is just how it is. And that's how it can be for anybody. I have literally saved tens of thousands of gallons of water because of this and done myself a favor in the same time and not had to depend on and rely on, you know, like have that be on the back, in the back of your mind and, and so many other things, you know, the best things in life are free and then you get you know, some, some of the things you get rid of and you get more freedom. And of course your urine is free the sun is free you need to get more sun people are too scared of the sun people don't get enough sun people are scared to look at the sun that's a practice that you just get used to and then it benefits you once you get used to it and you can go out and do it as much as you want after that or as often as you want um, getting it on the skin more you know without having to use sunscreen uh, sunscreen is what causes you know skin cancer and, and a whole bunch of other things because the chemicals and the, and the crap and that crap you put on your skin and you rub into your skin gets into your bloodstream as well and into your basically into your body that's disgusting and what's the other thing that's free of course uh, the air and oh you know uh, fasting does fasting cost you save money when you fast and fasting is great you should be eating a lot less. Um, anyone could do one meal per day or just uh, do a time window, whether that's, you know, 22 and 2, 16 and 8, somewhere in between there. It's it's very, you know, feasible for anybody to do. So anyways, the video's gone on long enough. Keep in mind that the best things in life are free and should provide you with so much more freedom to do so much more in life. And I plan to do that. I'm not going to be always living in a place my whole life. I plan to be out, and I'm going to be much more prepared than anybody is. You know, I, you know, you go out and you see homeless people or or, or uh, hobos or hippies or you know, out people that don't live anywhere and you know, in indoors or whatever. They don't do it right though, you know, because they've been given false information when they were growing up, and so they depend on showers. They depend on three meals per day. They uh, try to get out of the sun. They, you know, they sleep in the daytime because they can't find anywhere to sleep at nighttime, and they try to stay out of the sun. And it's just crazy. They don't utilize their water of life either. Uh, they don't know much, you know. But like, if you know all these things, and you don't have to depend on showers or whatever. You could go out and and be the most successful homeless person ever, you know, and and enjoy it and have fun and have complete freedom. You know, and I'm not saying, you know, do that, you know, if you work a job or whatever and you need to, you're dependent on money or whatever and have a lot of outstanding bills, but, you know, just keep that in mind. These things literally liberate you from, like, uh, everything, you know. Not having to depend on all those things, you can do anything you want, pretty much. Anyways, good talking.